you'll need that number when you go to order. This uh, that you see on the screen is a small snapshot I captured from the order that I placed for the screen. When it comes, it comes in a bubble wrap, but it looks just mostly like that, a flat piece of glass. And so when we go to take and uh, switch it out, see that uh, sort of looks like it's about the right size. So what we're going to do first, there's just some little little latches over here, one on each side. We'll pop those out, there'll be some little screws under there, and we'll start working on getting our screen uh, peeled apart. Alright, like we talked about, there's these two screws under here. There's one here, and one over there. And my screwdriver's not all that small, a much smaller one would uh, be even better, but it did work and <clears throat> the only thing covering those screws up were these little black tabs here's my battery, I'll talk to you about that in a second those little black tabs are just a, a sticky skin that goes over those screws so I used a knife, just a kitchen knife, to uh, peel that sticky uh, film off of there and uh, I think they've got enough sticky they'll stick back on there when I get done now before I did any of this I did a shutdown on the laptop and then I pulled the battery out so you want to do that as well so we've got those two screws out and I'm going to start taking the chassis apart and I'll uh, show you what that looks like alright so with those screws out and the laptop open like you see it I have kind of put my fingernails behind in the crack right over here at the bottom just give it a little pop and it actually kind of came out pretty good I did the same thing all the way across so now you can start to see this is starting to look like the thing that we've got over here in the uh, on the table, the new one. So the next thing I'm trying to figure out is if I just keep popping this all the way around or not. So that's the next thing I'm going to work on. I don't know if it slides up or if it uh, pops off, but I bet it pops off. And I will tell you here in just a second what I find. All right, so it went kind of like I talked, uh, like I thought it should where I just kind of kept working it as I went up around until I got this whole this whole thing to pop off so now we'll just kind of set that aside take a look at what we've got in here now what we're going to find here is just a few more screws holding this thing together up in the corner here and possibly even down here we'll take a look and see which ones of these need to come out for this thing to loosen up but uh, pretty much that's it we're just swapping out an old piece of glass for a new one there will be a cable on the inside that we're going to have to unhook from here and then hook it up to the new one alright so here's what's going to happen so I took these two screws out here one here and one on the other side and what I find is I've got a frame here that runs all along here down here and over so I'm gonna and then the, what they got is, is these little screws like right there so I'm gonna try right now and see if I can just bring that screw out on its own I don't think I can so I'm gonna end up taking this screw and this one out and get that whole chassis unbolted from the frame and then after I have it loose a little bit more like that I'll be able to take this one and this one and the two on the other side just like it out and once I have those then I'll be able to uh, start unplugging cables that should be the next move alright so here's what I did is I actually took all those screws out there's one here one there a silver one here and a black one there and that gives it enough movement so that I can pull it forward and take out this one and the one on the other side and of course this one here is already pulled out far enough for that so now up here that one already would pull out far enough so now 
our screen is kind of free to move here and we can take a look and see what we got here so now you can see our different cablings that we've got to work with so the next thing I'm going to do is unwrap the new one in fact maybe I'll just be able to bring it over right now slide some of these things and line it up so that we can take a look here Now it looks like quite possibly this is the only one we need to do and that this is just riding here. I'll take a look at that in just a second. That goes up to the camera. So I don't think we need to do anything with that other than unstick it from the old screen. And then over here we will work on getting that ribbon cable taken properly care of. All right. All right, so not too bad overall. This one here just has a little bit of sticky here. You gently pull it up and let it off of here. Over here, it was fairly substantially stuck down right there. And then there's a piece of tape that run across over to here. So I used the knife to kind of get that edge of that tape up and very gently just pull that away. So there goes the old screen. And next we will come back in with the new one. Alright, <clears throat> just as promised, I put this thing back in there. Now when you're working with this, this does not move very hard at all. And you can kind of see, if you've got decent eyes, you can see right exactly how there's just a little bit of tabs that fits together there. It doesn't really snap in all that much. I think the sticky and the fact that none of this stuff can move around once you get it case closed kind of keeps care of it not coming undone. And it will slide together real nice right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand this up and into sort of into place and not put any of it back together. And then I'm going to put the battery in and I'm going to boot this thing up just to make sure I'm, I'm good to go. Now, <clears throat> it looks like it's booting up. Uh, that's good news. I'll let it boot all the way up and then I will shut it down and uh, go back to putting it back together the way it came apart. All right, so what I did was put in these four screws first. They're actually a smaller screw than, than, than these ones. So there's this one, this one, and then the two on the other side. Since we don't have the frame all the way out, it's a little harder getting these bottom ones in than the top ones. And so what you can do is put the top ones in first, and you actually need to pull this screen up just just a hair. It's probably like a 32nd of an inch, but to line these top ones up, that gives you a little bit of an advantage when you're going to do the bottom ones. And then with this secured together, as you pull this out to get a little bit more room for this, it, it helps you out. So do the top ones first, put the bottom ones in, and then put these screws back. There's one here, 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 there. Remember this one? That was the silver one. I don't know why it's silver, if it's doing a grounding or why that is, but then there's one more here. And then that's the ones that we have before we put the face back on. Before I do that, I want to boot it one more time. Because if uh, there's something that's not working, then uh, I want to take it apart now before I snap that frame back into place. Looks like it's going to be fine. Alright, <clears throat> so that worked just fine. 
The next thing I want to do is put this back into place. And so before I do that, I'll shut it down again. And then I'll start snapping it in from the top and work my way down to get the bottom in place and snap it all together. And then there's the two screws. And that will be uh, pretty much the uh, end of our job. Looks like it's going to work. Alright, so that went about as good as planned. And so what I did was I got the top kind of sitting in its channel first. And then I started with thumbs on each side up here. And I just kind of went from here to there to there simultaneously on both sides down around the edge. And it snaps together really nice. Then at the bottom there's about three snap points in here. And if you just carefully push on the front and keep some, uh, you know, keep your other hand on the back, you'll feel it snap into place. You don't have to push that hard. It's just a matter of kind of, you know, working it with uh, two or three little pushes. And we're all done. I put these screws back in down here and on the other side. I even put the little black tabs I stuck back in there. And we're good to go. All done. This job would take me about 10 minutes if I wasn't trying to do this video. So it's not bad. It's definitely a cheap way to fix a broken laptop screen. Again, this is a Pavilion G6. And your exact model number, you'll find that if you open up the battery cage. Thank you.